Oh, that's a full sound. I love the sound of the piano. Four, five, six, compound? Yeah, it's triple. But it's really relaxed. We're like a little higher pitch, a little bit more motion. That's a lot of reverb. It's a very wet track. Oh. Reaching that up there. Mm. What is that's beautiful? That might be a synth, but it sounds almost acoustic in its touch. The the like a... Oh! That crescendo though! Oh! Mm. He really digs into it and then gently floats up. Sarang. <laughs> oh, 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 the sun. The sun just. Oh, what are those sounds? Full six feel. We're getting every eighth note. First Please time. Please sing again. Please sing some more. No, he he ain't. He ain't. But you can hear it, can't you? Wait, was that? We're in D major. He ended on six. He did. Is that play goal? Or is that? No, 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 no. It's just an unfinished cadence with chord progression. Why? To leave you hanging, probably. <laughs> Whoa! Favorite track off the album, for sure so far. The way he like flips from that really floated like falsetto or head voice D onto that full chest mixed voice like F sharp. Mm -hmm. That's like right in that tenor passaggio too. So mm -hmm. that's like oh, that was such like that's such a powerful flip from that mixed register, like that, that floaty head register into that chest voice. I feel yeah. greedy, but I wanted more of that full synth warm sound that appeared. In the, in the yeah. bridge? That was nuts. I, I don't know, like, wanted that the harmony that what? came out with like the electronic sounds and the bass was so heavy, Something made major. those harmonies sounded insane, like absolutely crazy. It felt like it was perhaps a, a dark, warm night, but then when we hit the bridge, it felt like we were sitting on top of a cliff, perhaps looking at a mountain range, and the sun like burst into the sky, and all these yellows and oranges and reds just fill your view. Really? I thought of an opposite. Same cliff thing, but um, the clouds clear, and you see the Milky Way. Oh! You see like everything, like the universe just Okay, burst at you, that. right? Yeah. Like purples, blues, and stars. On. <laughs> like, and like to the point where it's surreal too. It's not just like the actual Milky Way, but like the whole universe just 
clap song. Shall we listen to that? Please, I need to um, figure out what that is, yeah. too. 204, 3, 2, 1. So D major. Oh, that's so good! Oh, oh that leap. Oh, and there's a gentle electric guitar as well, right? He goes in a B relative, major from... Wait, isn't that relative major? That's modal mixture again. So he's going from major one to major six. Again! So yeah, same, same as the GD. thing! <laughs> God damn it. But this time it's the smarter switch. Okay. Because bah, 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 bah. this is still diatonic in D, mm -hmm. but then they just add in the B. B major underneath it. So he doesn't have to do anything for the key change. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> tall order, right? <laughs> then you hit the lowest note on the piano. <laughs> So for context, Umu just read, if someone asks you, are you happy? You can answer with confidence that you are happy. Oh, I love that chorus. Want to love you more than you love me. Want to love you until you are as happy as I am. You know, so many songs I listen to make me really happy that I'm not in a relationship and like that I don't want a relationship, but this song kind of makes me want to wish there was a relationship. <laughs> I totally get that. But you can also yeah. apply it, I feel, like to family and to friendships too. I feel like I can relate this to a relationship with my mom. She's loved me so much her entire, I mean, I, I love her too, but like her love has made me happy. And now that we're in a kind of relationship where we can be friends with each other and she's mm. she feels more comfortable coming to me for advice where like when the first time that happened, I was like, why the hell are you asking me for advice? But our relationship started being, you know, back and forth where she would be able to tell me all of her troubles and ask me for help. Now it makes me feel like I want to reflect this kind of like beautiful, powerful, supporting love back at her. Mm. Yeah, there's there's that duality here of like you don't you don't feel like in the moment that you do love them as much as they love you. And you feel a little bit of guilt for that and you want mm. to get to that point. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why he's saying want to love you, not I love you more than you love me. Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. he sees that like this they love love him much, mm -hmm. much more than he thinks is reciprocated by mm -hmm. him. Uh, but he wants to be there because they, he does care that much. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, that duality is some real, some real stuff. I just love that chorus where he hits that high note and that falsetto and then just right in that chest voice back down in the passaggio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, so beefy. Oh, so good. So good. I like it'll be difficult for us to move on, but there are three more songs. It'll be difficult to, like, Two try more to rank songs. these. I'm not going to be able to tonight. Oh, I can <laughs> easy. So easy. 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 Uh, 3 2 a 3 2 ah uh, come as you are. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought the same thing! I thought the same thing, you're just way slower. Three, two, one. Oh, that was gonna be descending fifths for a second, but no. Oh! Mm, flow five, six, four. Three, five. <laughs> this is a long progression. Boom. Boom. 28 second long progression. I mean, the progression keeps changing, so. So far, pretty diatonic, though. It's almost like a child's lullaby. Yeah, because it's it's in duple, but it's very boom, 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 except for just now. 
Oh wow, da, 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 da. I like that. The brush strokes. The brush on the snare was a good choice. No longer lullaby. And his voice kind of opened up a little too, right? It sounds a little brighter in timbre. I felt like the curtain peeled open to reveal more musicians. Like, that's why this happened. Ba -ba. This is definitely like a light waving song for sure. Oh. Right? I imagine listening to this while on a car trip and driving through some beautiful scenery. Oh, those triplet da da da. Oh. Is that half step up? Yeah, I heard that. That was good. Yeah, that did not go where I thought it was going to go. <laughs> like, I was like, I had a very specific, like, this gave me, you know, slight folk vibes. It felt like something that my parents would play to me while I was in a car, in the car as a kid, trying to calm me down. It felt like that. It felt like a yeah, like a gentle. Yeah, I wouldn't listen to this on a road trip myself because it would put me to sleep. Oh, but I they... envision a road trip. It's like raining softly, and this is the track I hear while someone is driving. But this feels so fresh. It feels like it feels like a, a, a wind blowing on yeah. a on a not too hot sunny day. Mm, so I see that. this and because it amps up so much in texture and you know percussion and subdivisions and all that, super echoey woodblock pitch woodblock sound. Like this, this isn't. It doesn't. It becomes the opposite of a lullaby for me, and therefore would not put me asleep if I were listening mm. to it on a road trip. It would just like calm my nerves if I was like nervous about. It just really calm me down though. This yeah, yeah. this song really calm me down. Come as you. I see you though. I, I I picture that actually. Yeah, like. I'm thinking like side scroll, you see like, like an anime ending, like a little, little SUV is driving down a long path and you mm -hmm. see like, you see it from a distance and you see the grass like waving through the wind, like on the sides of either side of the road, just like shh, and like the credits are rolling on top and then like the sun's oh. out there, it's like a little cloud. I mean, look at the lyrics. I think I nailed it, some sort of calming lullaby yeah. kind of message. I really, really enjoyed the the vocal melody in this one. It was very comforting. He sat on this note the whole time. For like context for um, male voices, even for tenors, that is right above the passaggio, which is usually around mm -hmm. F, F sharp G. Mm -hmm. So that's right in the head voice, full on. Mm. Full trichothyroid flip into that space. Man, they sing so high. That just made me it's nice, tough. happy, and relaxed. I enjoyed that one. Me okay. too. <laughs> yeah, shall we move on? Oh, yeah. I like the, oh, I love what they did. Uh, I don't know if you heard the, later on when the piano and drums and everything came in, they had like, ba, 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 right? They had a couple of hits in there that felt really solid and then like really playful mm -hmm. as aside from just like, boom, ba, 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 boom, ba, 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 and just like keeping that flow going. Mm -hmm. It had a bit more motion to it with mm -hmm. the bump. Ba, ba, ba. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Good Chuck. night, dear. Young K and Chuck Che. Chuck 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 Che. Chuck Che. We've heard we've we've heard a lot of Chuck Che before. Okay. Good night. Three, two, one. No one I put in what if this is a cappella the entire song? It's a triple. Called it! Wow! <laughs> God. More lullaby it feels? <laughs> I mean, good night, right? That warmth in his voice. I love that you can hear the intricacies of finger changes on the guitar. Mm -hmm. It's super intimate that way. Microphone right here, microphone right next to the guitar. Oh. Mm. High end. I think this is on a classical guitar. Oh, that's possible. The high, the strings just sound so warm. Mm. Ooh. It's like a glockenspiel. It's a very warm one now. Mm. A lot of the attacks and, and all the instrumental and vocal is completely dry, but they add in a reverb tail at the end. Cello? Oh, piano. Cello. Yeah, baby! Oh! His voice and cello I ship. OTP. I love the instrumentals playing an octave up from his vocal line. It makes everything feel so much more delicate. Mm -hmm. Oh, and <laughs> harmony too. Oh, ending with all the breath. Oh, that's a lullaby. That last part though, like singing oh. the And then like that little beat to like watch your baby is like, are they asleep? Mm -hmm. Sing it again. Sing it again. Whoa. That feels really good. Listen, his voice can <laughs> be so incredibly versatile. And one, uh, he, he demonstrated quite a bit in this album and you know he demonstrates even more throughout all of day six's discography mm -hmm. but this warmth and 
gentleness that was carried through his vocals in this song. You can tell how much breath and torso control he has. To be able to sing that note so quietly with not much vibrato. Yeah, singing singing soft takes a lot of lot of control. Feels good. Do I have much to say about it, honestly? For this, they also chose the perfect instrumentation, right? So yeah, classical guitar, acoustic piano, just a piano, and then a cello, and then glockenspiel. Okay. Glockenspiel. Yeah, which is very like childlike sound. Oh, and it's about breathing. <sighs> Release all your strength. That is a good way. Um, as a very active kid, my parents would tell me, squeeze your toes, then release. Squeeze your hands, then release. Release your strength so there isn't any tension built in your body and it's easier to fall asleep. Oh, good night, dear, at the end of this song, so I can't remember in a deep sleep. I wish you a pleasant morning. Mm -hmm. If I ever have kids, the last two songs of this album are the type of songs I would play for them. Play for them? You better sing these to them as they sleep. I mean, I don't think I can sing them to sleep with this because my Korean would be so bad, it would keep them Korean. awake. The energy is so nice right now. I don't have much more to say, but I do have my top three. What are those? Number one is Want to Love You. Mm, same. Yep. Number two is Not Gonna Love. Number three is Come As You Are. First listen, those are standout top three. Although, yeah, I think I will be listening. I will attempt at adding Goodnight Dear to my Lullaby yeah. playlist. I have insomnia. I, I need to listen to lullabies in order to fall asleep. I think my first one's also Want to Love You. Okay. Two would be this song, actually, Goodnight My Dear. Mm. Goodnight Dear just means a lot. And then I'm gonna say Microphone. Mm. Really, really like that one. Mm. Yeah, I could see your, your body posture, like, like oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, I was just feeling it. I'm like, he likes it. It was this. great. He likes it. I don't know, this is one of those tough ones where it's hard for me to point out, like, musically why. Uh -huh. uh, because sometimes it hits you the right way. Uh -huh. I felt like the, the ending of this album was so incredibly cohesive. And the first half was like, let me show you my range of, like, okay. of what I can be as a, yeah. as a vocalist. And then the, the last half was very smooth. So, yeah, those, oh, those, are, those are our top three. What were your favorite moments? moments let us know and uh if young k's manager is watching this call me i'd like to interview him please <laughs> <laughs> please um, great release yeah great debut yeah um it's really nice to get to hear him explore what he wants to do like mm. on his own but you can definitely hear the influence from just you know well his writing style with day six it's definitely very loud you know thank you for watching sweet dreams good night